I've eaten the real soft shell crab. Goodbye, everybody. I'll yeah. go to crab heaven. And here we have more things for you, for you to do. Ah! Ding dong! They actually took like, I think around like almost two days just to drain the water out and that is where I will go in and join in to harvest the prawns! It's actually quite deep eh? It's up to their knee I think I'm going to like half my body. Hello! Hello! Sarah, Yay! Okay, thank you! Uh, wrong side. Oh! <laughs> Yep, this is the help we are gonna get. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Uh, I'm. I think I, I can catch well. Okay. He's yelling. He's a stuff here. He's gonna help teach me how to catch the prawns. Okay. So this is a freshwater mud hole that they have dug out to where they keep the prawns. So this giant freshwater prawns, as name suggests, it actually lives in fresh water. How many prawns are there usually in like this one area? We usually put around 60k of prawn larvae inside here. I'll catch 100 today. Freshwater prawns, they are bottom feeders. So you know, they will use their little walking legs and walk on the mud. And then they will seep out, you know, small little dead particles. And then they will... Then they will bleh out if they can't eat it. <laughs> where, do I, where do I even begin? I, I... He's a freshwater snail! So the freshwater snail ah, is shy so it will cover up this operculum here. And they are very hardy. You step on them, their shell will never crack one. Yeah, and there are tons of it here. And that makes sense because prawn, they will also eat freshwater snail. Ah! Ah! I can't! I can't! It's dead huge! You can see, this is a giant fish with the prawn! It is exactly the same one you catch in your prawning. Yeah, they actually sell it in that area. So take a look at their claws. These large ones that you see, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the calipads. It's mainly to show dominance. So you can, they can see the hierarchy by the colour of the claw. It's to fight one another. It's actually a first pair here. Mainly for finging purposes. So they will get and then they put straight into their mouth. And then behind the last three pairs, those are the walking claws. Ah, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Oh, you see behind here, right? This flipping, flipping here, this part. Those are actually not their legs. Their legs are all right in front. So those are just appendages that are like pedal like for them to swim. Woo! That's the big one! I got the big one! I got the big one! So big! I'm so happy! It's dead. Oh! 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 You're a mom! You're a mom! So females, they are obviously smaller than the males. But most importantly, they have eggs. So their eggs are hidden in the abdominal area, which is here, the bottom here. One more female here. Hello, you're pregnant. Congratulations! Oh, oh. Wow. They're all coming here already. They're all coming here because as the water gets shallower and shallower, right, they're all like retreat all the way here. And they put oxygen pumps here. So I guess they'll all come here to you know continue surviving and that's where we catch them. We are gonna move this to another pond, is it? No, put inside the cement tank. Oh, keep it alive, yeah. ah? Yeah, keep that. Oh, ah! Two, three days, after two, three days, then send sell out. Oh, sell gain is a pony, la. <laughs> I caught it first before all y'all managed to catch it. Look at the miners there, taking advantage of the rich mud flats full of insects and worms. Smart, la, smart, la. That's why they survive and proliferate until like that, ma. Huh? Focus and hard at work. I'm totally useless, but it's okay. Eh? Oh, so here's where they keep. Prawn is alive. You see all them they're like holding on to dear life at the corner of the net. Prawns, just like the crabs, they molt too, meaning they shed their old exoskeleton and regrow a new one so that they can grow bigger. While catching some prawns just now, I accidentally like 
pull out, amputate some of their limbs. But it's okay, why? Because when they go through molting, their new limbs will grow out. But this depends, as they grow older, right, molting becomes less frequent, longer, and their limbs, their regrown limbs, right, will not be as strong as the old ones. So, not very good to pluck out their limbs, but yeah, it was an accident. <laughs> you look closely at the side of the net. It looks like though there's like little insect holding on, but those are actually insect casing. And why? Just like the prawns, they actually mold as well. So those are actually the exoskeleton. Other than the prawns that we harvested earlier, they have many other interesting crustaceans too. They have lobsters, slipper lobsters, the mantis shrimp, which deserves a video on its own, and the crabs that we saw earlier. So how are all these crustaceans related to prawn? Now all of them belong to this big group known as the crustaceans, meaning they have like a hard outer covering or shell. And then the mantis shrimps have a group on its own because they have eight pairs of legs, unlike the rest which have five pairs. So the rest, they branch out to a group known as decapods, meaning ten leg creatures. So under decapods, it will split into crabs, shrimps, yeah. Lobster. Lobster, yes. And sleeper lobster. And sleeper lobster. We're done for the day. <laughs> Thank you Sam for giving me this opportunity and teaching me so much about prawns. You're welcome. I enjoy it. Thanks for helping us. Yay! Helper, best employed. <laughs> Would you like to visit this farm? So tell us in the comment section below. Sure. So yes, that's all for today. Just keep thinking. <laughs> <laughs>